we're actually able to see the original cross hatch here but that doesn't really matter because we will be honing all the cylinders mainly what we're looking for here is any cracks or any scratches or anything similar i'm happy to say that in our case here there are no substantial wear marks or anything visible except for this scratch here this one here but I think it will buff out in the honing process. It's not that deep really. Other than this scratch here, all the cylinders are nice and smooth. We don't uh, have any edge here to catch uh, our nail on or anything like that. So that's uh, quite promising. So that's that about the visual inspection thing. But to really evaluate and take some measurements really, we have to clean up these bores a little. Because we still have, you know, some oil stains and uh, whatnot on these surfaces here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually clean it up a little. We're gonna do this by using this thing here. As it says here on the package, this is a triple leg glaze breaker. We're gonna chuck that in our drill here and just lightly hone all the cylinders to remove all these impurities on the surface. All right, it's looking quite good there. We do have a little low spot here, which is shown with this darker line here, but that's perfectly normal. Okay guys, so we got our cylinder bore here nice and clean. This isn't really a final hone. I will hone it a little more, but it is enough for us to measure it. We're gonna measure it for bore taper meaning that the difference between the bore diameter on the upper side and on the lower side. This is quite important because we want the diameters to be as equal as possible. Besides that, we will also measure the roundness of the bore all over the place. So how exactly are we gonna attempt this? We're gonna actually measure all those things using nothing but a set of filler gauges and a piston ring. Here I've been soaking those pistons about 12 hours now to make it easier to clean them. You see, all these deposits here are actually going away by themselves. But yeah, we're gonna remove a ring off of one of those pistons. Doesn't really matter which one. I'm just gonna remove the upper ring and we'll be able to do all our measurements. We have to be careful here not to break the piston rings. Those are actually quite fragile. Here we go. <laughs> we're gonna leave these ones to bat a little more. Okay, so now we're gonna clean this piston ring so there's no gunk or anything on it. We make sure that it isn't damaged or anything here on this edge. Okay, everything just fine with this ring. We're also gonna need a piston without any rings on it. So I'm gonna remove the second ring also here. As well as the oil ring. I'm gonna remove all the rings from all the pistons anyway to clean it really thoroughly later. That's it. Okay, so now the first thing we're gonna measure is the roundness of the bore. We're gonna do this by installing this piston ring, starting on the upper side. Here we put it in like this, then we're gonna square it down the bore with our piston here. Like that. And now we take our filler gauge and measure the ring gap here. You know how that goes, the thickest gauge that still fits in the slot here is our measurement. 
we got 0 80 millimeters here of a ring gap which by the way is quite large it seems like the engine is suitable for turbo already as it is now we're gonna take this piston again and push our ring a bit lower down the bore and we check again with the same filler gauge as we uh, measured on the upper side yep it still fits so this is the same measurement okay let's carry on we're gonna push it even further down and repeat the measurement a couple of times okay maybe a bit tighter here but still the filler gauge fits into the gap okay looking good so far we don't really have to go to the bottom of the bore but just as low as the bottom piston rings reaches when the engine is running and there we go again the filler gauge fits into the gap now we can remove the ring okay so with our measurements here we've actually confirmed that this cylinder bore is indeed straight and it isn't shaped in a cone or anything like that so that's really good to my great delight that means that we won't have to get this uh, engine block reboard to a bigger size well i have to check all the other cylinders but yeah let's say we're good now we'll check for the roundness of the bore which is also very important we're gonna do this again just by using a piston ring and filler gauges and a little flashlight also okay so again we put our piston ring in the bore here and square it again with our piston like so okay so the piston ring is again installed and squared on the bore now simply what we're gonna do is shine a light from underneath and if the bore wasn't round it would show as the light coming through here on the edges of the ring so just like with the measuring of the bore taper we're gonna also do the measurement a couple of times on different places on the bore and just like that confirm the roundness all over the bore Now we repeat the measurement on another place of the bore. Alright guys, so there you have it. This is how you evaluate or measure your cylinder bore for bore taper and roundness using only a piston ring and filler gauges. So if you'll ever be attempting to reuse a cylinder block like this, this is something you can do to make sure that the cylinder bores are fine. Of course, there are superior ways of measuring this, but this is by far the cheapest option. This literally cost us nothing, while we still achieved some very accurate and uh, worthy results. So that's it for today. I still got uh, five more cylinders to check before I start with the final honing process adjusting the piston rings gap and everything that comes with that. This thing will be a part of a turbo build, which I'm attempting in the future. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified when this vlog gets fully assembled and used and abused. So stay tuned for more. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next one. Be good!